four pillars of our money. And I think most of us all think, okay, well, we're going to need income. We've got to replace the paychecks that are no longer coming in. So income, we certainly see that as one of the pillars of our money. We also see the need for growth because we do know inflation, taxes, there's things that are going to cost us more down the road. So we have to have growth. And then we go, well, we can't lose it all. So we need to protect it. We need to make sure that that is safe as well and will last as long as we need it. The fourth pillar is one that I think gets overlooked a lot. We kind of, you know, everybody's got money in IRAs and 401ks. It's all tax deferred. There's no taxes till we pull it out. And then all of a sudden we get taxed and we ha- can't get to some of our money either. Liquidity is your fourth pillar. Why is that one so important for our retirement plan? Well, you need an emergency cash stash for things like medical emergencies. How about a family emergency? How about if an air conditioning unit goes out and has to be replaced or a car breaks down? You know, just look at the pandemic. Remember how important having some free cash was? Because everything was locked up and then the market went down, right? And that's a problem too. Most people don't have an emergency cash stash. They leave it all on the market and then they have an emergency. Just like if we think about the pandemic, people are losing their jobs, stuff weird was happening. You know, maybe you needed $15,000 and the market's down and you have to sell stock at losses to come Mm. up with the money that you need. That is not a good plan. That is not a good plan. (laughs) And so look at it almost as if you've, when it comes to money, you have three categories, safety, income, and growth. Safety, income, and growth. And most investments are going to have two of those things, but not all three. Um, And so you might have money in in, in the bank. It's safe. Maybe it's liquid. Okay, so let's let's say that. Let's say let's let's throw those in there. Let's say safety, liquidity, and growth. So you have money that's safe, that can provide liquidity, but it's not going to give you growth potential. Then you think yeah. about money that's in the stock market. It gives you growth and liquidity, but not much safety. safety. Right. So you lose that part to it. You have some investments that have, uh, you know, have liquidity and safety, right? Like checking accounts but they don't have any growth. Yeah. So you have- You're losing money safely. <laughs> right, so you're losing yeah. money safely. So you guys gotta look at things as emergency cash stash is maybe for six to 12 months worth of your expenses. Because it does have liquidity, it does have safety, but it lacks the growth. And so you just wanna make sure that you kind of have these things buttoned up and then you put enough in that pot. And then when that pot is full and you've got enough of that cash stash, you put some of your other money in the stuff that has growth potential and maybe you have some money that's, that has safety and growth. So you just have these different things that you can have your money do. And you just got to look at it as when it comes to pillars, protection, growth potential, income, liquidity, these are all important pillars that you have to have. If you don't have the protection pillar, or if you don't have the income pillar, or the liquidity pillar, or the growth pillar, if you just are missing one, the whole building can collapse before you. And so you want to make sure you got all those in place. 